tell you about AsReview in a nutshell. And what I love about this program that you, the user, are in control. It's not the machine making decisions, you are. But before I tell you more about AsReview, I want to talk to you about the traditional way of screening. So traditionally, you start with a search. And the ser out of the search come maybe thousands of papers. And you have to screen the whole data set, so all these thousands of papers. And after that long and exhausting process, uh, you end up with this little stack of papers which is actually relevant for your study and then you write your awesome publication. With As Review, it works a bit differently but the start is the same. So you again start with your search and the thousands of papers but then you get a little help of our friend called ALAS, our electronic learning assistant. ALAS helps you by reordering the papers such that the relevant papers are pushed to the front and you don't have to screen the whole data set, you can just screen part of the data set. After this, you again end up with this little stack of papers which are relevant for your study and you can write your awesome publication. So let's go into more depth about the screening process. In the traditional way, you grab a random record from the stack, you screen it and decide whether it's relevant or not. Then again, you grab a record, screen it, decide whether it's relevant or not. And again, and again, until you've seen the whole data set. And remember, this might be thousands of papers you have to screen, so this is a very long process. And after you s uh, screened it all, you can stop with the screening process and export your records and start on to the full text screening. With AS Review, the beginning is a bit different, but thi this makes that eventually you save a lot of time. So you start with importing the records, so the data set in AS Review. And then you have to give ALAS a little bit of information about what you are looking for in a record and what you're not looking for. So you have to give ALAS at least one relevant and one irrelevant paper. Then you have to decide on the settings, but we have defaults for this. And Sophie will show you more about uh, the priors and the settings in her demonstration. So now ALAS is going to work for you. ALAS is calculating probability scores for all the data that you haven't seen yet, which are all the papers except for the priors you gave to ALAS. This is the information that ALAS uses to calculate these scores. So ALAS gives you the paper of which ALAS thinks it has the highest probability to be relevant. And then you, the user, screen this paper and decide whether it's actually relevant or not. So you see, you are in control. It's not ALAS making the decisions. ALAS just gives you the paper and you decide whether it's relevant or not. Then ALAS goes to work again. Now based on the prior information and the decision you just made, ALAS recalculates all those scores. So you made ALAS a bit smarter. And ALAS again gives you the paper of which ALAS thinks it has the highest probability to be relevant and you screen it and decide whether it's relevant or not. And this process goes on and on until you decide to stop. But remember, you don't have to screen the whole data set, you can just screen part of it. So after you decide to stop, you can export your records and start to the full uh, text screening. So you see that the as review way is way faster than the uh, traditional way of screening. And not only that, it's also very easy to use and you, the user, stay in control.